Nani, it's obviously a pretty significant day for you coming off the track just now, your first sort of big conditioning session for the year and um, probably since the end of last season. Yeah, Heathos, it's, uh, yeah, it's good to be. I've got a bit of a beetroot head at the minute because it's bloody hot out here and I've just done my first conditioning block. But, um, yeah, just a maintenance program through to Christmas um, with a navicular last year. I got through the last seven games sort of just to uh, make a fist to try and play in the finals, which we did, and just uh, to be smart, had another block of time off and today was probably the first decent sort of running block I've done since the last game so um, yeah it was pretty hard work but it's nice to get through it. So while you had the foot um, issue last year right now it's not so much an injury thing it's more of a maintenance thing um, just you know sort of progressing you through until the start of the season. Yeah so pretty much early last year I developed the stress fracture in the navicular the club did the right thing by me and gave me 12 weeks for the medical reasons it was to give it the 12 weeks to heal it was awesome we got to come back and be part of the finals campaign and then it was always once that last game finished I give it another extended time just to be safe um, they can be pretty nasty unfortunately Tommy Curran that was here last year um, you know we also with him with his foot so um, yeah, it's a nasty spot to get injured and we're just doing the right thing by it and hopefully now I can build up to, to the NAB Cup. Albeit that you were slightly wounded, were you happy with what you were able to contribute during that finals campaign? Yeah, well when I actually got told I'd probably miss, it looked like I might even miss a whole year at one stage and the situation I was in with my contract and my age and that, uh, you know, I sort of just, I'd do anything to get back and play and then to, to play in three finals was awesome and you know, obviously we didn't finish the way we'd like to but to get into a prelim final was amazing and um, you know, and it set the tone for this pre-season and uh, already there's a lot of competition for spots and um, you know, it's going to be a healthy competition going into the start of the year. And obviously to get that contract too was obviously a good thing. Yeah, I'd already started my renovation so I was up <laughs> shit creek mate if I didn't get that contract. I had to foreclose on me bloody loan or something but no, uh, I was always confident I could get another year and um, you know, when I was younger I thought you know, if you get to 30 years old and still be playing AFL it would be a pretty good life and um, I turn 30 next year so I must be living the dream still. <laughs> and mate if that contract didn't come through I mean what could you possibly have fallen back on? Uh, I'll probably back at Evandale with my old man um, being a mechanic and uh, working on cars but no um, yeah obviously you know, as I like to plug I do have a fake turf business. So, there, it um, there it is. Yeah yeah so but I can't keep plugging that because we all know it's the best turf in Melbourne so um, no it's just good to be back out with the boys I like to muck around and have a bit of fun and that was the first time today I've been out here so um, yeah, I think this could be my year. <laughs> <laughs> and just on not such a serious note, you did use last year a little bit uh, to get, a, I suppose, a break away from the footy and um, do a little bit more media. You were doing a regular spot on SEN. You are still enjoying all that sort of stuff. And are we going to hear you on the airwaves again this year? Uh, I hadn't put too much thought into it. You must be the best media manager. If you can get me to get as much airtime as I do, and I can't get a kick, mate, you, could, uh, you must be pretty good at your job. But no, you've put me forward and um, at any chance you've gotten, um, who knows what could come of it, but at the minute... Footy's my number one priority, and um, you know if that stuff come about, well, obviously that'd be awesome. But um, you just got to keep check of what we're here for, and that's to play footy. And mate, are you pretty excited about what's going on here at the moment with the players that have come in? You did say it's going to be tight for spots, but you know with that comes, I suppose, a renewed energy about the place and new players coming in, and standards are set and, and levels are raised. Yeah, it's awesome. Obviously, losing Levi um, was probably one of my best mates, or if not my best mate at the club, that hurt. But, you know, that's footy. It's going to happen year in, year out now. And we've picked up two senior players who, in Jared Waite and, and Sean Higgins, who have both been taught probably two of our best on the track. So, uh, in that regard, it's good. Uh, Trent DeMont, uh, if, you, if you've seen him, he's slimmed down. And he's, I think they said that he's the only bloke on the list, apart from new guys, that hasn't played AFL footy. And I think well, that will change pretty quick. And obviously, Eric, who's developing as an international rookie, so uh, it's going to be real tight for spots. Uh, last year we had a pretty big injury list and it probably never got noted as much, so we got games into a lot of guys, so I think if you asked anyone at the minute, they'd be giving themselves a good chance for, for round one, so, um, you know, even like seeing Tazza back as well, big Taz, um, you know, he might even come down back as well, so Tippo's put on a bit of size, so even in where I play as well, it's going to be a competition and that's what you want. Good on you, mate, all the best uh, up until round one, bud. Yeah, cheers, guys, thanks very much.